This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay is organizing the 11th Badge Design Contest from March 1st to April, April 31st. Follow the design requirements and submit your design in one of the given waves and become the winner of one of the valuable prizes uh, in cash and coupons. This contest is more than competition, it's a celebration of 11 years of innovation and chance to dream about the boundless possibilities ahead with PCBWay. Hello, a typical VU meter measures audio signals and display them with a visual indicator. In the classic VU meter design is used a moving needle, actually a sensitive galvanometer that points to a scale on a calibrated range. The needles the needle moves left or right depending on the strength of the audio signal. I recently acquired this small round TFT displays with a GC9A01 chip. Its basic purpose is for making smart watches, but in fact their shape is ideally suited for making a retro look Vometer. My attention was drawn to a project on the Solar Universe blog, which describes in detail how to create uh, matters, gauges and deals on this display, displays with Arduino Nano. For the, needs of this pro for the needs of this project, I made some modifications to the code, but basically kept the beautiful retro design and colors. Now, instead of random values, the instruments show the, instruments show the real value of the voltage applied to the input pin of the microcontroller. For a more homogeneous movement of the needle, now I now use a map more powerful ESP32 microcontroller. Now the, nowadays the price of ESP32 is very low, so for better separation of the channels, I decide to use a separate microcontroller for each channel. In this project, I also added a peak meter that signals the moment of exceeding the permitted level of the signal with a small LED. The device is very simple to make and consists of several components. ESP32 microcontrollers, two pieces. Uh, next, two round displays with GC9A01 chip and 240 on 240 dots resolution. Envelope followers made with two small si uh, signal diodes and two capacitors and two LEDs with current limiting limiting resistors. In particular, in this case, I use the simplest passive envelope follower consisting of a diode and a capacitor because the whole device is mainly intended as a demo device for testing and based on this idea, a precise fully functional audio VU meter can be made later with a certain software and hardware modification. And now let's see how this VU meter works in real conditions.
Let me mention that a stereo potentiometer can be placed on the input in order to regulate the signal level, but for the sake of simplification, I do it with the Windows Mixer software. And finally a short conclusion, this simple and interesting ESP32 project can be made in a few hours and has a beautiful retro look, so you can use it as additional part of any audio device or as a standalone unit. Uh, with minimal code modification, it can be used on many other devices where a signal straight measurement is required. Uh, the Vometer is built in a suitable plastic box made of a PVC material and lined with self-adhesive colored wallpaper.